Last year, a scientific consensus was declared in support of universal mask wearing. What compelling evidence overpowered four systematic reviews since October 2019 that found little to no evidence supporting infection reduction? Crisis in science. Orthodox consensus declared without compelling baseline evidence. Conclusions after a search for the preponderance of evidence for the universal mask mandate efficacy. Check the sources, check the sources, sources, check the sources, sources, sources. And you start getting a sense of how much bedrock exists with the strongest evidence. I know people are passionate about the science they find fascinating, especially if they are consistently scared to believe specific apocalyptic predictions are highly accurate or certain. Given how many fields and systems intersect for such questions, I empathize with the great scientific challenge of trying to prove the claims made by passionate mask advocates. But the burden of proof squarely remains on those supporting extraordinary and universal medical interventions. Out of the non-pharmaceutical interventions and PIs widely mandated in 2020, the topics related to masks seem to be among the most studied over the decades. Most community mandate policies cannot be most effectively and ethically studied outside a state of emergency. If these societal experiments were inevitable, I wish they had been more consensually organized. For example, community-wide medical interventions would have been more ethical if opted into by emergency ballot measures, not government mandates aided by federal wartime spending. Over the past year, I probably spent a scattered 15 hours trying to understand the evidence behind the 2020 subtopic of mask mandates. But in Appendix A below, I spent a fresh 20 hours systematically digging through the three references that the MIT studied for the alleged, quote, preponderance of evidence that masks are crucial to reducing viral transmission, end quote. This portion of my post is perhaps in the vein of a partial draft literature review. Below, I've copied various quotes from most studies that I personally found most informative or compelling for or against universal mass mandates. I've not looked for expert critiques of the most compelling studies, and I've only shared little objections or nuances which came to my mind's epistemological virus scanner. But if anyone does find any of these studies to provide compelling evidence for universal mask mandates, they should also search for expert critiques. I've probably misunderstood some aspects of some of these studies because some of the fields in these studies are less familiar to me. For example, it's possible I miss a control arm in some studies if it was not clearly referenced in the analysis for comparisons with experimental mask mandates. Any scholars closer to these fields are welcome to improve on and professionalize this starting point. But I think I now have a relatively strong understanding of how much has been published on this subtopic. I now have far greater knowledge about what types of questions have been studied, at least those cited by the pro-mask side of this great debate. Here's a quick summary of the preponderance of evidence cited to debunk anti-maskers. Four published systematic reviews concluded that there's limited or no compelling evidence supporting the popular assumption that universal mask mandates are likely to re reduce viral transmission. That's the WHO in October 2019, the CDC in May 2020, the Lancet in June 2020, and the Cochrane Library in November 2020. There were a handful of there were a handful of published multivariate analyses which built very interesting models trying to simultaneously tease out many demographics and novel policy variables. Most are less than a year old and claim to be among the first to show evidence of mask mandate efficacy. In my humble opinion, these are among the strongest pieces of evidence supporting mask mandates, but they are still very far from proving correlation or causation from mask mandates with any actionable certainty. A handful of published studies claim to associate reductions in the rate of change of COVID cases after mask mandates, but only a couple made attempts to show comparison to any unmasked control arm. And the Kansas study actually showed mask mandate counties to have greater cumulative cases overall. The only new randomized controlled trial on masks, not included in previous systematic reviews, appears to be the Danish study with almost 5,000 participants, but they stated their findings were inconclusive.
There were probably one to two dozen smaller scale studies emerging in the past year, most involving less than 1,000 participants each, while studying multiple variables simultaneously. Most used self-reported data, and many did not have a control arm without masks. Dozens of studies showed compelling evidence that wearing a mask reduces droplets, but likely not aerosols. Only a few of these studies went beyond generalized droplets by testing for potential SARS-CoV-2 transmission and infection reduction. Dozens of studies detailed the efficacy of different types of masks, different materials, and or different layering options. Few went beyond dro generalized droplets to test for viral transmission and infection. Dozens of expert groupthink opinion pieces selectively citing these scattered and weak new studies. They often acknowledge how little is known, but act as if any one of these new studies has the power to overturn the conclusions of the multiple systematic review. If much of this content had been published on InfoWars instead of JAMA, then most would consider them conspiratorial musings. If the sudden face mask consensus is more a conspiracy than incompetence, then these authors may be unwitting or witting accomplices propagating groupthink. The most compelling evidence supporting mask mandates has only just begun emerging over the past six months. Until enough is questioned, replicated, validated, etc., the skeptical position here should be considered very rational and backed up by a lack of established evidence for the consensus. Quotes from reviewing the pro-mask establishment literature. From the WHO systematic review in October 2019, quote, 10 random controlled trials were included in meta-analysis, and there was no evidence that phase masks are effective in reducing transmission of laboratory-confirmed influenza, end quote. In a study from April 2020, quote, there is little information on the efficacy of face masks in filtering respiratory viruses and reducing viral disease from an individual with respiratory infections, end quote. From the CDC systematic review in May 2020, quote, although mechanistic studies support the potential effect of hand hygiene or face masks, evidence from 14 random controlled trials of these measures did not support a substantial effect on transmission of laboratory confirmed influenza. There's limited evidence for the effectiveness in preventing influenza virus transmission, either when worn by the infected person for source control or when worn by uninfected persons to reduce exposure. Our systematic review found no significant effect of face masks on transmission of laboratory-confirmed influenza, end quote. Next is the Lancet systematic review from June 2020. Quote, previous data from randomized trials are mainly for common respiratory viruses such as seasonal influenza, with a systematic review concluding low certainty of evidence for extrapolating these findings to COVID-19, end quote. From a study published in June of 2020, quote, systematic reviews and meta-analyses of such studies have provided suggestive, although generally weak, evidence, end quote. From a study in June 2020, quote, there are insufficient data on cloth-based coverings which are being used by the vast majority of the general public, end quote. From the Cochrane Systematic Review in November 2020, quote, there's low certainty evidence from nine trials, 3,507 participants, that wearing a mask may make little or no difference to the outcome of influenza-like illness compared to not wearing a mask. There's moderate certainty evidence that wearing a mask probably makes little or no difference to the outcome of laboratory-confirmed influenza compared to not wearing a mask, end quote. From a study in November 2020, Quote, several systematic reviews found no conclusive evidence to support widespread use of masks in public settings to protect against respiratory infectious diseases, end quote. From a study in December 2020, quote, the impact of face masks worn in public on the spread of COVID-19 has yet to be systematically analyzed, end quote. From a paper in January 2021, quote, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, the efficacy of community mask wearing to reduce the spread of respiratory infections was controversial because there were no solid relevant data to support their use, end quote. From another study in January 2021, quote, although evidence suggests that masks help curb the spread of disease, there's little empirical research at the population level. Segmented regression analysis of reported mask wearing showed no statistically significant change in the slope after mandates were introduced, end quote. <coughs> If anything, this preponderance of evidence confirms that there is very little evidence that masks are crucial to reducing viral transmission. To me, far more progress must be made on topics like this before high certainty becomes actionable for public policy. The entire framing of this study is within an assumption that anti-maskers are wrong to question the new scientific consensus or orthodoxy. But reading through the citations for that assumption suggests the exact opposite. So I'd be curious to know how deeply the MIT team questioned their core premises while designing this experiment.
after reading the appendix below, if anyone still believes I'm missing some overwhelming pro-mask evidence here, I would be curious to understand what it is and why you find it compelling enough to establish a new public health paradigm. I'm not highlighting uncertainty within the body of literature. The conclusions of the body of literature are more uncertain than not. Last year, a scientific consensus was declared in support of universal mask wearing. What compelling evidence overpowered four systematic reviews since October 2019 that found little to no evidence supporting infection reduction?